you know what might make me stupidly overpowered? Bombs detonating on a single hit. Because when it comes to things like everything, they're very weak to bombs. So that was a single hit, which is very easy to strategize now. So they're going to take 50 damage, plus the first one's going to die. Uh, we don't really have a direct shot at the bombs, but there's enough of them down there and I only have to hit them once, so we have a very high chance of just doing that. That was overkill. I wish bombs always immediately blew up. That would make it so much easier. And we got one more purple idiot coming up. And we're out of bombs, so we'll hit some critical hits uh, with a day gorb. That's going to be even easier because it does big critical hits. So 70, 77, not quite dead. Luckily for us, we have another one right away, so that's 20, 35. 35 damage is enough. We need a three. Then we have bold orb again. Then look at the map. I think we're maybe going to try and stick to question marks where we can. So we'll go to the right. These should be events that give me power-ups. I don't know if they can be enemies. I don't care. Either way, we'll deal with it. A waterfall. Check behind the waterfall. A relic. Oh, every time we hit a critical hit, that also refreshes the board now. So we're definitely in good shape. Now we got to find a way to the right. I don't know why I said right when I was aiming left. I meant left. I'm just stupid. That guy is lost. So we do kind of want to get to that bomb. But I won't be offended if we never quite make it there. Because we can get lots of damage just rolling along this. There's a refresh. And that's still going to be 56 damage, basically killing you. Here's a critical hit. If I could fire straight down, I might be able to drop straight to the bomb. Bulldorp might do it. Bulldorp's... Oh, we got it anyway. Okay, 50, 50 damage for everyone. Plus, we're probably going to finish him off. I didn't see what the damage was. Yep. Then it's time to bring Bulldorp in. We're just going to drop him straight down because he can get critical damage. And lots of it. There's 40 for both of them. Uh, we're back to a basic stone. We can go like that maybe. And oh, I tried to hit a refresh. The critical hit refreshes anyway. So you're definitely dead. There's Bulldorb. Plus, oh, it bounced over the critical hits. That wasn't supposed to happen. That was weak. Sometimes my plans just really don't work very well. I have no one to blame for that one but myself. But it's dead anyway. Exactly enough. Then we're going to go ahead and upgrade Bulldorb, who is simply just going to do more damage. Then we're going down to the question marks. So grab the fireballs. Yeah, we'll take some fireballs. I don't know what they do, but I'll use them. And we are at the spider web, so there's lots of bombs to explode, and all we need to do is touch them once. Hmm, we missed that one, but we got lots of damage out of a single little rock. So they're just really strong. Uh, they do uh, detonate bombs in one hit, which we already had, so they're less of an advantage as they normally are, but they'll do a lot of damage regardless. And we got two bombs to explode there, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. That's going to kill a lot of things. Then it's just this one idiot left, so let's see if we can get through that. There we go. That should probably amount to the damage we need quite easily, especially with the bomb explosion. The spider is definitely very dead. So we got another Omega Orb. I do like those. Yeah, we're going to go with the Omega Orb. We'll level it up if we can. Uh, we also need to find a way. Well, we can just go like that probably. That's going to give us, oh, extra damage to stones. That's perfectly reasonable to me. I think we can actually go right and then left here anyway. This should just get us more power-ups along the way. And I really like power-ups. So first up is this annoying one. Let's just try and get, open up some bomb space. Bombs are going to be our friend this run. That did basically no damage, but stones are going to do more damage too, so let's set off that. So far, lots of damage going out. The bombs should help. 50 plus a dead plant. Do you think I can get to that bomb? Does that count? Nope. But we bounced up there, so there's a critical hit. That's going to be a weak shot. Well, not that bad. I just wanted bombs. Uh, the Inferno, Inferno Orb, we're just going to set loose anywhere. Doesn't matter where it goes. And that's fine. Going to incinerate Blue Boy. Oh, it's time for Omega Orb. So let's see if we can get that crit. Mm, that was kind of weak aside from that, but still 45 damage for just that is pretty crazy. The bombs in this one are hard to hit. That's also an annoying spot to land because that keeps happening. Uh, Bold Orb, though, is always my friend. Surely we can make that hit a bomb or two. Two bombs. Bold Orb uh, really bounces around in a nice way. So they're both going to die. I didn't realize how much health we lost. But there's another Orbalesk, so that's also going to help me because of all the stones I have. Then on this one, we want to go right, which is going to give us extra bomb damage, which certainly helps us because we can set off bombs pretty easily. Then we'll go for the question mark because I want power-ups. Oh, never mind. We're fighting an enemy. Don't know how I managed to screw that up again. There's going to be a lot of enemies here to fight. The bombs are all way down low. Let's see if we can get some critical hits out of that. Can we sneak one in there, maybe? Nope. 
It might bounce back up though. For now, I'll be content with all this damage. There's a bomb that's gonna hurt. Bomb's gonna do more damage too. Uh, it's gonna kill this one instantly. Okay, then we're back to Orbelesk. Uh, I don't really know if I should try and get a bomb out of that. I very well might with this. Critical hit at least. Come on, there's a bomb. So those two are in trouble. They're both dead. Critical hit time. Um, so off they go. Doing damage, collecting critical hits. Didn't get a bomb. Bold orb. Uh, I don't think I want to restock yet because there's a bomb right there. Oh yeah, the crits restock anyway, so that's okay. I've got lots of restock, lots of bomb damage, so that kills everyone. Uh, it should have killed everyone. I thought it did 65. Okay, let's try a Swoltorb. Uh, maybe we need healing, actually. Let's do healing. We've got some good pieces. Don't think it matters which way we go here as long as it's not into the fire. Uh, so we're going to flip the chip because it's a gamble. We lost. Let's do it again. We lost again. We did it. We lost again. I'll play this all day. There we go. Bottom slots gain multipliers that increase or negate your shot damage. I don't really know what that means. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, I would prefer to fight the boss, but I'm not really too fussed about it either way. Boss it is. Or should I say mini boss? Not a ton to work with here, but the multipliers on the bottom are fun. I see what it means now. So, zero times multiplier is fine. Oh, that means zero damage, though. God damn it. Great. All right, well, we're going to go this way to try and get the Omega Orb to get a two times damage. Uh, or, you know, half damage. That's horrifying. Can I have some bombs? Bombs are really going to help carry me here. Half damage. I need bombs. Where's all the bombs? Uh, okay, there's double damage for 12. That's not great. Uh, this definitely needs crits, so we're going to see if we can land one directly. And then, please land somewhere with a good multiplier. I hate all of you. But that's fine. We'll make this work. Okay, Bulldorb is heavy. And Bulldorb is my friend, so it goes where I want it to. So we're going to get a two times shot. This relic also really sucks. I hate it. But there's 72 damage. Okay, that's going to be a restock. We're going to get some damage. This is quite likely going to be two times. Okay, now it's starting to work a little bit in my favor, but he's ready to chop my head off. But we do have two two times over there, so let's try and stay way to the right. Even if it's not a ton. Good enough. 22 damage. Wow, that's going to add up quick. Uh, Orbilesk wants to come out and play, so let's hopefully that's going to not go there. This thing by itself is going to kill me because of this stupid multiplier thing. Uh, if we're on this side, though, we're definitely safe to do some damage. Hopefully a two times. One times is fine, too. Almost dead. This should finish it off, uh, provided we don't get a zero. Uh, so, yeah, this will do it. Don't like the amount of health we have, though. Not one bit. Okay, I'm going to take Doctorb, just because we need it. I think I'm also going to grab this two-time damage when your health is below 25%. That's just going to be a further gamble on top of our already gamble. Because I feel like it's going to get desperate here. Our health is going to get low. We're going to have to try and do something to do some damage. Uh, okay, 15 HP. I'll take that. And we got to fight a monster because of it. Okay, there are some bombs here. So if I just break through these nicely. Uh, oh, that's way bouncier than I thought. It should funnel basically into the bombs, I think, though. I hope. Plus, we're going to get some restocks, crits. Touch the bomb. Okay, bomb's going off. Good. So big damage there for everyone. Fireball for you. And we're taking damage. Okay, let's uh, crit, which is a free restock. Okay, we hit the restock anyway. We might hit the other bomb on this one. That will be fine by me. Uh, and we're going to hit a 0.5 multiplier, though. So half damage, but there is a bomb. Okay, so the Dock Dorb is here. Uh, I can discard it to save it for when I need it. Nope, I need it now, thanks. So let's go right there. Come on, hit all of those. We need this health. I wonder if the multiplier affects these, too. Does it? That would be great. 32 healing. We really needed that. Okay, I'm going to try and send this boulder way over here where I can land on it two times. Hopefully, that might not work. This is such a bad level for this. Except for now, that's okay. Because you're about dead. Both of you. Great. So, where's the multipliers? They're spread out pretty poorly. I have no control over where this is going to go, really. So, two times would be great. So, yup, you're going to die. Then Omegorb. Two times multiplier. We're going this way just because I think no matter what, we'll get enough damage to hopefully defeat you. Critical hit. Yeah, okay. Even at half damage, you're way dead. Do I want to heal 20% or upgrade an orb? Let's heal. We just need it. Uh, We could increase our max health. 
This might actually be more damage then, because I do extra damage and I'm below 25% health. Now I have a bigger window for that 25%. I already hate everything about this fight, because I'm fighting the Jello guy, but we got a bomb. If we can rely on bombs, it won't matter when we do zero, because at least a bomb goes off. He's only doing three damage when he does hit me. I don't really want to hit a restock yet. I do want to hit that bomb, because there's easy damage. We might land on another zero here, but at least we got a bomb off. He's going to continually walk closer. Okay, bold orb time, so I'm going to try and... Uh, oh, we got into a bad spot. Two times damage at least. Okay, I'll take that. Back on this side. I would like to get those bombs, but it's going to be too hard to get over there. I could try and hit the crit. Didn't make it. Uh, I think we're going to get at least a small two times multiplier. Okay, this one basically needs a crit or it does no damage at all, so I'm just going to try and send it somewhere in there. Hopefully it gets that one. Uh, whatever. Okay, we got Orbalesk, which can do tons of damage under the right circumstances. I'm actually going to restock and just hopefully not do exactly that. Actually, that's not bad on two times damage. But I'm now inside the slime again. That's not really where I wanted to be. I'm going to try and make it outside to the bombs. Nope, we're right back inside again because that's just the way this game works. Okay, we got Omega Orb coming in again. I'm going to try and get you onto the critical hit and then whatever you hit along the way. I forgot to check the multipliers on the bottom, though a two times hit is really big. You're way low on health now. So we don't really have a choice where this is going to go. Hopefully it lands to the left under two times, which I think it's going to. So great, you're dead. Big damage. And we get a new orb. Let's just, um, yeah, ball lightning's fine. And then a nice relic, attack still two times damage, but one damage every four hit. That's kind of fun. I'll take that, but I'm pretty sure, yep, yeah, we got to restart. But all attacks get plus one. That's actually going to stack up really big, really quick. I like how many bombs they give you early on. It makes them so much easier to blow up. Then we'll see if we can set off another bomb, which we sure can. That's definitely going to finish off that one. And then we had leftover for the blue slime. Uh, we'll at least get this one. Yeah, that one's exploded, so the slime is officially dead. Double dead. Then this one purple idiot. There's enough bombs left that I'm pretty sure I can go something like that, and... Well, we'll get that bomb next turn then. Because it was that one. Oh, I didn't realize they had so much health. This turn will finish them off by hitting... I don't know, that bomb? Will that work? Nope, I missed entirely. Okay, he's dead. Give me upgrades. I got another Bulldorb. Bulldorb is my favorite. Uh, for map, I probably want to go towards this. Not that I really have control over where it goes. Okay, we're on spiderweb level. Uh, I think I want to try and go down. I don't want to hit that restock yet because I'll need that once I actually remove some blocks. Would have been okay hitting a few more bombs. Okay, we're doing okay bomb-wise suddenly. Everything's going to die already. Perfect. Three bombs, four deaths. And that thing also died, so we literally one turned that level. Think I might try the multi ball again. The Bulldorb is so big that even when I start, I automatically hit one thing. So it doesn't really matter where I launch this, it's mostly going to go downwards. That bomb would be great if you wanted to touch that. This is going to be a lot of damage for Bulldorb. Mm, would have been better actually to save the bomb for next turn because we're going to way overkill this thing now. That's 50 of its health, and then that was 176. It could have done 176 to everyone, but we do have a bouncy ball now, so let's send you up there. Then we're going to get two going off, uh, which wasn't a superstar, but good enough for me. That was a respectable 50 damage. So I'm just going to clear out some more of this because it's just a regular rock anyway, so whatever. Just hit whatever you can. There's no bombs. Just have fun, little rock. Be free. That was way overkill. But critical hit plus another little rock to get some damage. I don't think the slimes are going to make it anyway. Because that's almost all their health. So we we'll bounce that way. Uh, okay, it's really hard to get to those restocks suddenly. But that one's dead. Uh, okay, uh, I think we're just eventually going to have to get lucky to hit a restock. This level is suddenly turning really bad for me. Let's see if we can get to that at least. Yeah, we got a restock. Okay, that saved me. Now we're back to regular stone. Uh, I want to try and fire it out that way without hitting a restock. Though I did spawn a new one in. Because I know Bulldorb is up next and Bulldorb will kill these guys probably fairly easily. Especially on a crit because he's going to hit everyone. So he's already at... Yep, yeah, they're both dead. Quite easily. Bulldorb. I could get another stone which is nothing but... I, I circle is basically a stone but better. 
Then we go to a question mark where we hopefully get to murder lots of things or we get an item. We can give up a stone and we got ice circle level two and I actually like that trade. Okay, I guess we're going to fight the enemy then. Uh, I'm not sure what the new and upgraded ice circle does. So it pierces one enemy, critical hits, pierces through enemies, which is good. Oh, we're starting with Bulldorb. Uh, what do we want to drop Bulldorb on? Probably right in the center, huh? Well, good enough because critical hits. Please hit the bomb. Please hit the bomb. Bombs are fun. Got a little bit of a hit on a bomb. Yeah, <laughs> Bulldorb, set your brew. I don't think we want to restock yet. I would love to get a wedge between the wall. Okay, it popped right on out. Oh, we did get the bomb though, so I won't complain. Can we get another bomb? Too greedy. That's okay. Bomb's going to kill most things, then we're going to finish off one thing. Okay, now I've got my ice thing, so it passes through the first peg, so I could shoot directly the critical. Uh, because that one is at an angle, it didn't hit anything else, but that's a cool orb. We're going to restock here, because i got a double ball anyway, so it can hit more things. Uh, well, not a ton of damage, but it did clear out a lot of pegs. This one needs the help of this. Uh, that's such a bad orb. I don't like that one. Okay, critical hit time. A restock would have been better. Uh, okay, four damage it is. Do I hit a restock here? I guess I might as well to see if I can bounce upwards. Oh, that was Bulldorb. I didn't mean to launch Bulldorb like that. I wouldn't have done that. Still a lot of damage though, because he's going to hit those two. Okay, let's do this smarter then. Do we hit the bomb? Uh, <laughs> okay, we hit the bomb once. Fine. Okay, we got double ball again, so let's just kind of set it loose. Not bad in the world. It did get critical hit plus a restock. Yeah, this would be a pretty good hit. Bomb might have been better, but it's definitely going to kill you. Uh, we got icicle again, so what did we do with that? Hit the restock? Okay, we got the restock. Lots of damage. Not enough to kill the thing, I don't think, but close. Then we're left with my most useless of uh, orbs to finish, but it's enough to do it. And it hit the bomb, ironically. Okay, we're going to do Orbalesque. Uh, we don't have a ton to boost that, but we got enough. This would be a really good one to hit some crits because of the Ice Orb. Oh, well, that's still pretty good considering how few things I hit. Uh, Orbalesque is some big damage for just regular old Grey Pigs and is very bouncy. Plus, we got a restock, so this could actually be pretty good. Uh, especially if we wanted to hit some bombs, which it didn't. Still good damage. I should have targeted them. This one basically needs critical hits to do anything at all, so... We got a restock, which is fine. Bombs would be better. Can we hit some bombs? Well, we touch... Yeah, we got a bomb. That's gonna help me out in a big way. The less damage I take now, the more screwing around I can do later. I have fun builds. Wow, you actually end up touching a lot of bombs. Uh, only one detonated, though, and that's fine. Because Bulldorb is coming in, and uh, he's probably gonna hit a bomb because he feels like he hits a lot of things just because he's huge. Nope, but that's still going to hit both of them really hard. One more hit it is then. Critical hit plus... Yeah, that thing's definitely dead. Bye. So let's go ahead and upgrade an orb. Let's upgrade Orbalesque because that's going to do plenty. Then I am think this way. So now we're going to do extra damage to slimes. So that's perfectly fine. Let's start a fight. Does that hit multiple? Oh, it did. Great. Uh, we don't even need a super strong attack here, so let's just kind of, uh, multi-ball, well, whatever, let's just set this out. If you happen to hit some bombs, great. It's only gonna attack one thing anyway, so it's kind of a waste. It's overkill at this point. Let's hit a restock if we can. Is that gonna bounce inwards or outwards? Come on, hit the restock. You're in the neighborhood, right over the restock. Nope. Well, that wasn't great. Can I hit that bomb, please? Got it. Okay, that's going to do big damage to everything and give me a little bit of breathing room. I think that one's going to move up, but... Yeah, everything's about dead. Stone can get a restock. Uh, Yeah, we need this 15 damage each, so that's very easy. At this point, I actually want some HP. That put me back up, because the fights aren't going to get easier. We said this way is supposed to be the hard way, I think. We're following the red line. So, whatever this is, and then we'll probably just follow the right side down. All right, well... These guys are going to have to compete with Bulldor for a sec, who's going to hit three of them at least. More if I can manage to hit some bombs. But that's asking a lot, because Bulldor doesn't bounce a lot. But we're still going to do a ton of damage to those three. Those are the some of the more dangerous ones. Then we got a basic stone, so I'm going to try and get a good bounce onto the bomb, which I didn't really. Okay, I really need these bombs to go off, otherwise they're just slowly going to pick me apart like that. So I'm really hoping this can make it into... That's not great. We killed him, though. 
but we're eating a lot of damage now. I need bombs. Okay, we're gonna fire over there to hopefully get some bombs at least started. I think I can get the one on the next shot. This would be a lot of damage anyway. I should have aimed for something in the middle. That was really dumb. Bouncy ball time. So guys, activate some bombs, please. I really need the help. Bomb one. Uh, restock? Nope, but if one bomb's gonna be big because that's just gonna hurt a few things. And then there's only three enemies left. Okay, bomb and a restock. Perfect. So that's going to kill those two. I'm going to hit that for a bit of damage and I have a full restock to finish it off. Uh, not before it does a bit of damage. All right, so this is my icicle, but look at all the damage we get. On what would be a piercing attack, but there's nothing standing behind it. 150. Dead. Okay, next I'm going to try Polter, Poltorbgeist. Basically, it's not great stats, but if it goes upwards, it passes directly through. So that's interesting. And then we got Pigboard start with plus three bombs. I very much like that. Okay, I'm going to start right there with the bouncy because I'm hoping I can get a few bombs. Uh, even if I can't get bombs, we're very close to blowing a few of them up anyway. Okay, Orbalesque is going to go on a similar trajectory if I can. Something like that. Okay, that bomb's going off. That's big damage for everyone. Hit a critical hit as well, so good. This will be very good for everyone. Uh, a few enemies left. I'm going to see if I can get a few of these bombs to go. Okay, that took a weird bounce. This is Bulldor, but it doesn't bounce. It's a boulder. Well, either way, that's going to hit them a lot. So this might actually finish them off depending on the extra damage we're going to get. Nope, but just about. 30, 15 damage left. Um, Polterbgeist. All right, well, this is the one we haven't really used yet, but it's going to be hopefully enough to finish off Idiot Stick. Nope. Like Zoids, man! This is really spooky! Uh, perhaps this one then. How much health? Three health left. So as long as I hit that, we're good. Not by much. Okay, I actually want to heal here. Give us 20 HP back because we're about to fight this idiot. It kind of sucks to start with Poltorbgeist because we're going to sacrifice all of this for something that doesn't really do a ton of damage. But whatever, it'll still add up the damage. Plus it does go through things upwards, so... That could land in some weird, funny spots. We touched a bomb once. And I guess it does pierce. Okay, we're going to use you for just bombs, and you're very bouncy. It was two bombs. Good. Two bombs is good. Its individual damage isn't great, but we're hurting things. The mole is in my face. Uh, this one does do a lot of damage. That bomb should be reachable, so let's go down that way. Didn't really... Well, actually, I guess that's going to work out because the crits. This thing does quite a bit in crits. So it's going to hit everything, including the mole. Uh, and then we got the multi-ball. So we just fire it upwards. Can we do that? Yeah. Then those are just going to hit, hopefully, everything in existence. Uh, we set off a bomb. Good. Uh, tons of damage going up to whatever we hit. Critical hits. Bombs ready to go. So the bombs are going to do things. That's only going to hit the plant. But we're going to send a little stone down in there to set off two bombs, plus some damage. So that's going to hurt the mole for 100. Plus, we're killing the tree for some reason. Then we got a stone, so let's see if we can hit those two. So we got a bomb, plus some crits lined up, plus a restock, so that's going to be plenty of crits. And we get a direct shot on the mole for this. So, bomb, plus crit, big damage to the mole. 48 health left. And then was Bulldorb. Oh, I meant to hit that crit. It's so big that it's hard to aim sometimes, but this will still hit everyone in front of me. So yeah, the mole's actually dead at this point because we're going to do 81 damage to it. Dead. I just wish we could keep going from here because now we can upgrade Bulldorb. I really like Bulldorb.